Good morning everybody, Rick here. Today is Monday, December 28th. Time is now 8.09 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Okay, here's a trade that is triggered. This is my second trade for the day. Uh, we have an order of uh, aggressive buyers right here between 88 and 86. So I'm long at 36.91 uh, right here below this, uh, one tick below this one deviation line. Um, I'm going to be using um my shadow bars um to gauge entries as well um what i was looking at a trade that i was in earlier uh got in down here at um uh well the final five was in at 88 and i was able to pull uh, t uh five contracts off at 10 ticks and got stopped at that here at break even so uh, i'm pretty sure we're going to be going up uh, today not sure if we're going to close up, but we're definitely going up in the a.m. hours uh, when the market opens. So I'm long 10 contracts now at 36.91, uh, looking to pull five off at 37.01, and my stop is set down here at 36.81. So that's where we are at at the moment and kind of gauging to see where we're at. But I was looking right here, a lot of take profits coming in from the amazing push down pre-market. Uh, we're still in pre-market, but this happened. This has been going on all night long here. So um, looking for this bounce off this one deviation line. So this uh, eye zone is going to be disappearing here in 18 minutes. Um, but this um, one deviation line seems to be holding steady right now. We're severely, severely oversold. So um, I just see that rubber band is going to be snapping uh, back to the upside here uh, shortly, uh, particularly when the market opens. So um, that's what I'm watching for at this moment. So let me do some quick adjusting on my uh, take profits and my stops. And we will uh, go forward from there. So, all right, guys, I'll be back in a little bit, and we will see where we're at. All right, five contracts off at 37.01, and my stop has moved up to break even now at 36.91. So I'm long five contracts at 36.91, and uh, got a lot of aggressive buying coming in here. So now it's just a matter of watching, seeing how high we're going to get and where I'll be scaling out at. So um, uh, looking for a push up back up here to the uh, moving average, uh, possibly higher, but this is um, a key area that I'm looking at right here. So um, that's being extremely oversold. Uh, I just don't see um, much more of a push down, particularly off this one deviation line also. So all right, guys, I'm going to pause the video, and I'll be back on my next update. All right, see you soon. All right, we have a um, some aggressive sellers hanging out around this uh, moving average right here, and we got a stack. So I'm gonna be pulling two contracts off here at 37.05. If I can get that off. Okay, 37.04, two contracts are off, so I'm still long three contracts at 36.91. I am going to move my stop uh, right there on the one deviation, actually a couple ticks, so 36.93, that is going to be my new stop, and um, no set target for a... Uh, um, take profits yet but if I can squeeze it I always set a hundred tick um, exit on all my contracts for CL because if I get up there then it's typically a pretty good trading day um, so but this is uh, the scaling out part of it and if I can end one contract with a um, hundred ticks and I'm normally pretty happy so all right out uh, two contracts so still three contracts long um, stop is adjusted and we will see where we are at from here. So, all right, be back shortly.
All right, guys, so uh, we're just kind of ranging at the moment. Market opens in 10 minutes, so I'm going to move my stop up just behind this red line. This is called the VWAP. I don't uh, talk much about it, but um, I'm going to be 37.04. I'm going to move my stop up there. 7.04. Okay, so that locks in about 13 ticks um, on uh, the final five targets um, in case we get a pullback right at market opener. So, and then I'll be able to gauge uh, whether to jump on back into this market or not uh, from that point there. So, uh, we got a nice rise up here on the stochastics. So, um, looking like if we get an oversold area, it'll probably uh, be about where I thought uh, up here at the moving average or so. So, um, that's what I'm still looking for at this moment. Uh, but just wanted to lock in some more uh, profit on that trade there. So, uh, it's working out pretty good. As for now, I'm up um about 30 ticks total but you know that fluctuates because um i'm using my uh print numbers my order flow numbers to uh really gauge when to get in and get out but as soon as the market opens uh, i don't think we're going to stay ranging much anymore at that point so um i mean it's been a slow come up climb up but we've been ranging about the past 25 minutes or so so uh now it's just back of watching so i'm gonna pause the video and i'll be back with an update so see you soon all right guys so i am out of this trade stopped out at 3705 uh hit the vwap right there so okay and uh this is gonna be the end of this video here uh still a lot of trading day left markets just open it's now on nine thirty three a m eastern standard time so uh possibly looking to get back into this trade again not sure if it's long or short being that we are uh, sitting here but i'm thinking possibly long we have a eye zone that formed right here and we haven't completed this uh, on the upside yet, so uh, I think we're looking at a pullback right now. Um, okay, so I'm, I'll look for aggressive buyers to come back in and see if we can um, scalp that on back onto the long side at um, so probably somewhere. Let's see if we can push on back down here to the one deviation line again. Not sure if that's going to happen, but um, uh, I, I'll, I'll utilize my uh, flow charts to gauge if I'm going to get back into this market or not. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video.